Hey guys, so this is the new Samsung Q850T soundbar. It has tons of features, so let's take a look at them. It has Alexa built in. It also supports Spotify Connect, which I'll show you in a minute. It has HDMI inputs and outputs. It supports both DTSX and Dolby Atmos uh, formats. It comes with Smart Things app, which is an app that lets you navigate through the soundbar, change its settings and configurations, which I'll show you as well. This has HDMI cable included in the box. So the whole system itself is a 5.1.2 channel system, which I'll explain what it means and how it works. And most importantly, it has both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. So let's do the unboxing now. So out of the box, this soundbar is a 5.1.2 channel. 5.1 in the soundbar means it has five channels, three front firing, two up firing speakers, and then 0.2 stands for the two rear speakers at the back, and then 0.1 is the subwoofer attached to it. Let me show how I have set up. So at the bottom, we got an optical cable, a power input, uh, one HDMI in and one HDMI out, which supports ER and ARC. Okay, so now that I have plugged this in, let me show you. So this is the power cable that I plugged in, and this is the HDMI that goes back to my TV and connects. Uh, that right there you see is the adapter that is connected to the power cable, connected to the soundbar. And this is the HDMI cable, which goes behind the TV and connects to my ARC port, so, which will be this one here. So this is the remote that comes with the soundbar. It has quite a few options in terms of customizing the sound experience, the overall channel volume and uh, different volumes for different channels. So you can control your rear speakers differently. You can have your rear, front, center and right channels all on different volumes and different settings. Uh, you can also have a different volume or change the volume of your woofer using the remote, which is really good. All these options are also available in the Samsung SmartThings app which I'm going to show you now. Here's the SmartThings app that you can set up for your soundbar once you have it installed and up and running. So in this app, there are various settings that you can choose. There's sound modes. So there are different sound modes that you can customize. So here we have standard, surround, game and adaptive sound modes available through the app. And if you go back, you will see that there's a equalizer and woofer setting. So you can control your woofer volume as well as you can change your equalizer settings. So you can customize the sound if you're listening to music or if listening to different kind of videos, you can customize it as you like, which is really good. Now let me show you a sample of the sound. So here you go. Overall, the sound quality is really good. The sound output is very well balanced and neutral, which makes it suitable for most content like watching Netflix or Prime Video or listening to the music. The wireless subwoofer is also pretty good in outputting all the low frequencies like the thumps and rumbles you hear in most of the action packed scenes. The dedicated center speaker really helps in outputting the dialogues very clearly. Even when the scenes have a lot of action going on, the dialogues are crystal clear, which is good. So overall, it's a well-balanced sound system and an easy recommendation to anybody who's looking to enhance their home theater experience. Uh, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and Amazon's assistant support makes it an easy choice. So if you have made it this far in the video, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and please like this video if you like my content and subscribe to my channel so that i can make more videos like this if you have any questions please feel free to comment below and i'll be more than happy to answer them thanks again for watching see you in the next one